Have you ever had a bad day? <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Dan Middlebrooks, and welcome to the Light of Liberty. You know, sometimes we can be going along singing our song, and then wham, the day hits us, and we don't know what happened to us. Kind of like the story I came across some years ago about a little bird by the name of Chippy. Now, Chippy was known by his owner as a little bird that could sing up a big storm. But well, one day the owner was having to clean out Chippy's birdcage and was kind of pressed on time, so she wanted to take a faster way to do that. She grabbed the vacuum cleaner, got the extension hose on it, and began to clean out all of the stuff from the bottom of Chippy's cage. Well, the phone rang, and she reached to get the phone, and you guessed it, her hand that was pointing this way with the hose started to go up, and then all of a sudden, while she was on the phone, she heard a thump. <laughs> she looked over and screamed in horror as she realized that she had sucked Chippy down into the vacuum cleaner. Well, she quickly turned the vacuum cleaner off. She opened it up. These were the old vacuum cleaners that had the bags in it. Ripped open the bag and was able to find Chippy alive but stunned. <laughs> The bird didn't know what had happened to it. Covered in dirt and stuff, she quickly ran to the bathroom, put Chippy underneath the faucet, turned on the cold water to clean him off, and now just absolutely drenched this little bird. The bird started to shiver, and so the owner goes, I need to, I need to warm him up. So she took the hairdryer, and then she began to blast him with the hot air on the hairdryer to dry him off. Well, Remember, she had answered the phone, and her friend heard all that was happening. Somehow, <laughs> this got around to a newspaper reporter, and it intrigued him about this bird and the situation that had gone through. He contacted the owner of the bird and said, you know, I... I hear from your friends and stuff that, that this bird has gone through a traumatic experience, but the bird was known for its ability to sing a lot of songs. How's Chippy doing? <laughs> now the owner says, well, Chippy is fine, but he doesn't sing a lot anymore. You know, sometimes days like that happen to us. We get sucked into the black hole of a situation and then we get pelted by the cold rain of aggravation only to end up with the hot blast of deep frustration. Ever been there? <laughs> Some of you are saying, yeah, that's my Monday uh, and my Tuesday and my Wednesday. So what do we do to keep from losing our song? Well, James tells us in James chapter 1, and actually the whole book, but especially in 1, is that these bad days are going to be there. Bad days are present, but God's blessings are promised. Matter of fact, Paul tells us in Philippians 4.4, 4, to rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. What did Paul give us? Paul gave us the equation and that helps us to have a praise perspective. What does that mean? That means that when you are confronted with a single problem, double your praise. Because when your praise gets bigger, your problems get smaller. Remember, God has given you the greatest song you could ever sing, the song of salvation. Don't let the world's intimidation keep you from your celebration. Thank you for joining me on the Light of Liberty. And remember, as God has reminded us in the power of his word to him whom the Son has set free, he and she is free indeed. Now that's a life worth living and worth singing. God bless you as you go into this day.